during those years. And take a seat at the conference table. It was great, too. Welcome to the executive show. Nothing easy. On 95.7 The Game. Brought to you by Afici, San Francisco's newest culinary adventure. Located at 680 Folsom Street in San Francisco. Go to Afici.com to book your reservation today. All righty, this is the executive show brought to you by Afici, San Francisco's newest culinary adventure located at 680 Folsom Street in San Francisco. Go to www.afici, that's A-F-I-C-I dot com to book your reservation today. And let's bring in Zaza Pachulia like we do every other week. Uh, happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you, uh, Zaza. How are you? I'm pretty good, even though I'm hearing some different uh, voices now. It's something I'm not used to. Well, I'm you know, talking to some strangers, I guess. Well, rookies, maybe I want to say. Well, let me tell. You, okay, I'm glad you brought this up. Only uh, one, because uh, you're you're talking. To, I'm a starter uh, in this league. And I just happen. I like this to work this week. It's nice and quiet, so I don't I don't need to play with starters. I, I'm the kind of guy. You know what, Zaz? I'm the kind of guy you build around. I make everybody I like else that. better, and this is Evan who's now joining us. But uh, all right, enough about me. Um, let me ask you this about uh, the, the young guys because it seems like it seems like at least James in the last couple games, and maybe Jonathan uh, for a few weeks, something I don't want to say it's clicked, but it looks like it's starting to register. What what what's happening with those guys right now? Yeah, I'm so glad you asked me this question because. Uh, you know, it's been a long season, right? So, so many chats, you know, we had discussions, we had conversations. Um, literally everybody in the top nation, the fans or, you know, or the media, everybody's talking about it, right? All over the place about the young guys because, you know, your expectations are high, right? You know, those guys are pretty talented. We drafted them young and, you know, they came in the league, you know, with a lot of noise, right? But, you know, one thing we keep forgetting that it takes some time, right? And, and, Right now, what we're seeing, and it's just my observation and my thoughts, is that they're getting consistent minutes, right? Um, I hate to see Steph kind of, you know, hurt, but at the same time, when you look at the other side, these guys are getting consistent minutes, or consistent rotations, right? Plus, they are better than what they were last month. They're definitely better than what they were in the past summer, right? Because you cannot underestimate... 30, 40 games now, um, you know, into the season. All these practices, all these walkthroughs, the film sessions, right? Right. You know, wins and losses, home and road games, right? The conversations with, with the coaches or with the, with each other in, in the locker rooms, right? So all these things are just going to make you better. I mean, not, nothing is done in overnight, and that's what we're seeing now. We, we just see the progress. And like, as you said, click, yeah, it start, you know, they start figuring out the feet and the role they – they're supposed to have, and I agree with you guys. Like both, I think uh, Jonathan uh, and, and James. James has been very solid. Like uh, that's that's a perfect word I think to to use and this you know describe his last couple of games. He had a solid game. I remember against Memphis, did not necessarily score, but the rebounds he got and the possessions he had, and you know he didn't give up the possessions. He rebounded in traffic. You know, he ran the floor. He played hard. I think it was one of the best games. I think Steve Kerr also, you know, told him after the, uh, said in, in the media after the game. And, uh, you know, as a big man, I definitely value, and it was, you know, he, he, his presence that, that game. Yesterday, he was more, you know, the, the offense was there, obviously, you know, the play, you know, his teammates were finding him. He was, he did a good job with the screen setting, screen and rolls. There's a big man. It's so hard to like be consistent with the scoring. Sometimes you're gonna have a great, you know, offensive night. Sometimes you're gonna have type of night like against Memphis. But he was solid both games, in my opinion. And J.K. has been phenomenal. Like you know, even yesterday's perfect example. Not only offensive but defensive. Like he's so versatile. You know, being able to guard from one to five. And um, again, he's he's he's, he's figuring it out. So it's beautiful to see. Zaza, it's a pleasure to be talking to you on the other side of the glass. But And I'm glad you brought up the Memphis game, the Christmas Day game, because in many ways that felt like a statement win for the Warriors. Now, they also had a statement win in their last homestand against Boston, but they didn't seem to be able to carry that momentum on the road. It did look like the Memphis game meant more to them. They said as much after the game, coaching staff, players. What gives you confidence that now after another statement win against a team they clearly wanted to beat down in Memphis, 
that now they can flip the script in a sense of trying to continue that momentum over the rest of this homestand? Yeah, that's a really good question because, like, looking at our record, it's 17 and 18, right? And we are 14 and 2 um, at home and 3 and 16 on the road. And I was telling Coach Steve Kerr the other day after Memphis game, actually, I said, Coach, I said, can we play just at home? Like, you know, the, so I just ignore the road game. Um, but, you know, you don't want to, obviously, clearly, uh, the road suites, you know, we're still trying to figure out and, you know, try to learn how to win. And not, le- when I say learn, of course, we know. I mean, somebody knows how to win on the road, right. definitely our team. But I guess this is especially if we're talking about young guys, right? The second unit. Um, it, needs, it requires different mindset and approach and preparation. So uh, you don't want to, you don't want to kind of have this kind of resolve both at home and on the road. So, it's a statement game. I I agree, um, and because you know you wanna you you wanna kind of create the fear and you know the noise as well. Like we're we not totally gone and out of the picture and out of playoffs, or you know we're not totally washed. Actually, we we're still here. And uh, but one thing, if we wanna win the championship, uh, like you know previously four times, or so even get to the finals, we definitely need to get better on the road. You know, so I'm glad that we're taking care of the home. Home, it's important, especially we're playing in front of our fans in Chase Center. And uh, um, you know, like I say, it, it can go both ways, right? You can go like home is great. Now let's you know take care of the business on the road. But at the same time, we um, we're terrible on the road, and you know it kind of affects our home record as well. You know, so it can go both ways. So we're right in the middle right now. And uh, hopefully we're going to lean towards like home is great. And now we're going to start winning the games on the road. That way you totally set the tone and you know, send a message to the league. Hey, we're right. here to win another chip, another championship. Zaza Pachulia joining us on the executive show uh, on 95.7 The Game. Zaza, when you were a player um, and, and, and you looked at the schedule, so you, you said it, we're 17 and 18 right now. You probably know it's this third game tonight of an eight game homestand. So I guess what I'm 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 asking you is what how do you take how do you break up the schedule? Like for me, I'm looking and say, okay, we got an eight game homestand, and that's the once that's over, we're halfway through the season. And then you got five road games. Like, do you take this road trip separate? I'm sorry, this homestand separate. Uh, do you do you look at it in chunks of two weeks, three weeks, one game at a time? How do you do that? Yeah, I mean, um, I, you know, uh, it depends who you're talking to, right? I mean, you know, veterans definitely have better understanding of, um, you know, schedule per month, you know, per week, per you know, the home court, you know, home, you know, home stand on the road. Um, but we, with the young guys, I think every game is important. You know, every single minute is, is important, right? Every single opportunity is important, right? So, but you know, for the coaching staff and in the front front office, it's, it's always the stretches, you know, and, I, and especially now that our training staff, you know, performance staff is also involved. And we've seen, you know, a couple of times they're, they're resting the guys and especially when you add so many back-to-backs and travel and et cetera, right? So, Play still not playing back to backs, for example, um, and um, it's a team, team effort. Um, but definitely, you focus on each game. I mean, that's the right mentality. I mean, especially we have so many young guys, and you know, two days upon them is Utah, and they just focus on Utah. It's you know, second so game of the back to back. A couple guys are missing. Some guys, some young guys, gonna get opportunity. So it's prepare the team as as much as possible. You know. Getting to what they, what Utah is doing and, you know, they have a really good players that they started really well. So it kind of cooled down lately, but it's going to be a good test. So like look at individually in every single game because uh, it's this perfect time for the team like us who is, you know, not quite in the playoff picture, right? And every game matters. Every win matters. And especially when you have goals to develop these young guys, you cannot take this granted, right? So every game uh, is important. Uh, certainly, these games are important for the young guys. The wins are important to stack up. And when you reference the playoff picture, I do want to ask you, because it does feel like, look, the Warriors have championship pedigree, a lot of players that have been there, done that, but you played on teams that didn't really have to worry about seeding when it came to postseason time. 
This is a team now that is going to be fighting and currently, as we stand, are outside of the playoff picture. I don't expect that to be the case for much longer. But how important is seeding to you when it comes to staying out of the play-in tournament, trying to get the six or the five or you know, even higher? Where do you fall when it comes to the Warriors needing or not needing to worry about seeding come playoff time? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's interesting. I uh, the, when you look at the record, of course, seating is important for us right now because we've been playing better at home versus you know on the road. Hopefully, it's going to change. Like I say, a big picture if we want to win the championship, and that's the ultimate goal. Obviously, to repeat, you know, we need to get better on the road. But so far, we still have not figured it out. But we will hopefully, and you know, that's the plan. Yeah, uh, we still got you know quite amount of games left for that. Um, and once we do, maybe it's going to be easier to say, like, you know what, it really doesn't matter. But one thing I'll tell you, like, I, I definitely would, would like to be in top six uh, when it comes to seating. And uh, because, you know, I don't think it's it's, it's fun to be in a, the playing tournament, um, especially the last time we didn't have a uh, you know, good result. So, again, one game is always scary, right? So, even when I was playing, I remember we, we, we lost a couple game once because game once, it, you know, it kind of, uh, it can go either way. It doesn't matter if you're playing on the, at home or on the road. Uh, so for that reason, I'm trying, I'll, I'll definitely stay away from the playing tournament, but, uh, you know, would like to be in top six. But of course, it's always a privilege, you know, to, to have a home court advantage. Yeah, in, sure. You know, in the top four, because like I say, you never know. Sometimes there are opponents where, you know, uncomfortable opponents, I would say, right? Uh, because not every opponent is comfortable. I don't care how good you are. Uh, so, so many things can go, right? But I think instead of worrying about the big picture, I, I think we should worry about little things right now because you want to be the best position, best shape, and play the best basketball by the playoffs, right? So, yeah. Uh, and this is something that coaches are, I'm sure, thinking about it, but it's, it's more of a, it's about today instead of worry about, you know, the, the, the April. Exactly, exactly. Hey, Zaza, thank you so much as always, and uh, we'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Wow, well, this was fun, guys, and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you guys and to all the listeners. Um, it's definitely exciting thank time of the year. I definitely love it and uh, enjoy the holidays. Yeah, thank you so much. You. Thank you so much, Zaza. That's Zaza Pachuli, and that's the executive show. Uh, brought to you by Afici, San Francisco's newest culinary adventure located at 680 Folsom Street in San Francisco. Go to www.afici, that's A-F-I-C-I dot com, to book your reservation today.